All right, so this is day two. I'm gonna try to get a little more confident in my leans here. It's an absolutely gorgeous day to be riding. It's like 70 something degrees outside. Sun is shining, it's a Saturday. Life is good, man. Back in the same neighborhood I was in yesterday, so I hope I'm not pissing people off. I also realized in watching myself yesterday, watching the GoPro video from my first little outing, how much more I curse on video. Fucking this, fucking that. And I don't know if it's because I'm subconsciously trying to sound cool, or if it's just because that's how I actually talk. But I haven't really been like conscious of that before. Yeah, so basically the story of me and this motorcycle, or that I'd been looking on Craigslist for like months trying to find a motorcycle I wanted to buy. And I'd been talking with a bunch of people, and basically I decided a thousand would probably be what's best for me. Reason being, a lot of people get tired of their 600s after a while, this is what I'm told, and eventually decide they want to upgrade. So in order to save myself having to buy for the upgrade, I figured I'd just start on a thousand. A lot of people say, why would you start on a thousand when you're brand new to motorcycles? You're an idiot, you're gonna die. Well, here's the thing, man. It's all about your level of intelligence, your level of self-control. This bike has, where is it, red lines at like 12,000 it looks like. I've never had the revs up over 4,000. And that's because the higher that tachometer goes, the higher that acceleration goes, the higher skill level's gotta be. What's nice though is all that's there when I'm ready for it. There's no reason that I can't drive this bike like a reasonable bike. It might be a waste of a thousand cc on the short term, but it'll save me from having to pay for the upgrade in the long term. Also, for me being, you know, six foot three, six foot four, it's kind of difficult to fit on the smaller bikes. I just didn't even want to mess around with it. So, start on the big one. The weight's not really that much of a concern to me. It just means it's an extra skill set I get to build. Anyways, finally found this one. And so I get my, my buddy who used to drive a bunch of bikes, drive bikes, I don't know, ride. He used to ride a bunch, had a couple jigs or thousands. He had a Hayabusa. I was like, hey, why don't you come test drive the bike for me? And, um, and if it's, if it's all good, I'll buy it. And if it's not, then we'll keep shopping and I'll find something eventually. Either way, we get there and he's, um, his wife is at work, so he's had to bring his kid. And I just, either way, like, I don't think he was in the mood to ride that day. So, super gay, super embarrassingly. Um, the guy who was selling it, uh, and nice, he was being really nice, he offered to take me for a ride. And I did not want to hop on the back of this motorcycle with another dude. I got nothing against gay people, but it's just, it's an awkward situation, especially with a stranger. Um, yeah. That lady was riding with her dog in that. Alright. Um, so, yeah, anyways. What was I trying to say? I'm more focused on the fact I'm about to try a U-turn right here, which I don't think I really have the skill to do. Um, yeah, so... This is super skinny road. Oh, fuck. I pulled it off. It was not graceful, but I did pull it off. Um, yeah, so he doesn't want to test drive it. The guy lets me ride with him, takes me, like, past some truck on the highway going, like, 100 miles an hour. Bike seems to be running fine. All that's great. We get back, and he just gets off and leaves the bike running and goes, so do you think you can drive it? And I was like, um... I mean, I used to drive a stick shift car for several years, but I've never driven a motorcycle. And he was just like, hop on, go ahead, give it a try. Um, so I did. And um, I killed it a couple times because I just wasn't used to the sensitivity, like I'm still not. Of um, Well, I got the clutch down a little bit better now, but I definitely wasn't used to the throttle. So I rode it like pretty far down this neighborhood, turned it around, killed it another time, brought it back. And... Um, when I got back, I was like, yeah, it seems pretty good. And ever as the salesman, he was like, tell you what, there is a um, gas station like three miles down the road that way. Why don't you take it out there, get some highway driving, 
Damn it, all this construction. Get some highway driving with it. Um, and just when you get to the gas station, turn around, bring it on back. So I was like, okay. And I drove it down to the gas station, turned around, came back with it. I was like, man, driving this motorcycle is crazy. It's a lot of fun. It's very scary. Can't believe this guy just let me ride his bike. Because I hadn't even agreed to buy it at this point. Like, he just let a stranger who had never ridden a motorcycle before ride his motorcycle down the road. Um, could have stolen it, could have wrecked it, any number of things. But it was really cool of him to be that good of a salesman and that trustworthy. Um, so, anyways, I get back and I just basically pull the cash out of the car and hand it to him. I'm like, alright, this is great. Buy the bike. Um, and I know that like I'm not licensed, I don't have insurance, and I'm not, well I'm not really, I'm not at all an experienced motorcycle driver. So I have my buddy who was there with his kid, I said, why don't you let me drive your kid in your truck back and you drive the motorcycle back. So he did, and then when we got back to his house, he was like, well before I put it up in the shed, because it was going to take a while before I could get my license and everything, get the bike back to my place, he was going to hold it for me. Um, he's like, before I put it up in the shed, do you want to ride it again? And what am I supposed to say? I've been saving up forever, I've been researching forever, I just wrote it a little bit, it's fun, but it's my new baby, I'm, of course I'm gonna fucking write it. Um, so, yeah, I was like, alright, I'll take it out for a spin around the block, which I do, and, um, and I take it for a spin, I do okay, um, take it for another spin, I do okay, and I'm kind of deciding, alright, I need to actually start working on my skill set, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just... I'm gonna get it, you know, I'm gonna get it going. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna get it into first, go for a couple feet, stop, get it back in first. Did that a couple times, killed it a couple times, you know, learning process, all that normal stuff. Um, so, after, after a couple times of killing it, I was like, shoot, you know, I'm gonna like flood the engine or something, it can't be good for the bike. I was like, on the next ones, I'm not gonna worry about stopping and all that, I'll have more time for that later. I will just um, go ahead and just keep rolling with it. But wanting to avoid that, I was coming up to a stop sign at a turn, and we're in the middle of nowhere. I mean, no one is around. So I was like, all right, I'm just gonna put it in second gear like I would with a car. I'm gonna roll through this stop sign. I'm gonna look way, way, way up the road so that nobody's coming and I don't get hit or anything. Um, trying to be quote, quote, safe about running the stop sign on a motorcycle that I'm not practice riding. Yeah, dumb. Um, so as I'm looking up the road, and I'm, I just turned my head, as I'm looking up the road and uh, running through all this, I don't see the gravel on the ground in the corner, and you certainly guessed it. I uh, go right through that gravel, I fishtail it, probably do too much front brake, I don't know what I do. It throws me over the high side, bike goes down, I haven't even owned it for an hour, already tipped it. You can see, obviously, this is the same bike. It's pretty much fine. Um, there's just a little bit of shit on the side fairing there that's messed up. Uh, messed up the frame slider, and I had to get a new brake pedal. But um, the bigger issue was that since it was just for the day, I had all my motorcycle gear, which I'm now wearing, um, on order. So I was wearing, I mean, shoes with no socks, low-cut tennis shoes. Uh, shorts, maybe I'll put a picture in the video, or like all the pictures in the, in the video. That was scary. I was not paying enough attention there. Hey bud, what the fuck? Man, that's why you gotta pay attention. I s- damn it. Fucking shit. Alright. And no one's even behind me after all that. <sighs> Go ahead, bud. Alright, so... Yeah, I'm wearing that, I'm wearing a t-shirt. The only thing I did right was I was wearing a helmet. I'm definitely smarter than to wear than to ride without doing a helmet. I was only going about 15 miles an hour, blah blah. I know all this is basically just me like trying to justify what was still a dumb decision. But um, yeah, I 
So I went to the Motorcycle Safety Foundation course, and unfortunately, they don't really cover that at all. There's like a section in the book that talks about it, and it's basically just like, you should slow down before you get to like road surface hazards, and you should just try to avoid like excess inputs. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know how they trained you for that, but basically what I'm saying is, had I taken the course, I don't think I actually would have been all that much better off. But, um, maybe it wouldn't have been as bad. I don't know, hard to say. Regardless, um, so yeah, I like, my ankle was messed up, my entire calf had a road rash, my knee he had a little bit of a bump, surprisingly not that bad. My palm was pretty bad. Elbow had a nick out of it. My my right hip and my right shoulder blade were all messed up also. Um, oh, I'm in neutral. That's not the gear I meant to be in for this. Yeah, so anyways, um, all that was screwed up. I replaced my brake, my frame slider, my mirror actually didn't bash off somehow. And then the side of my fairings all messed up. So, lesson learned the hard way, man. I mean, I wasn't trying to be a squid. I did have the gear on order. But it's just not worth it. Just any second, so much could go wrong. And that's kind of what I alluded to in my first video when I was talking about that I'd already laid it down and I'd, you know, learned my mortality or whatever other dramatic thing I'd said about that. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's my kind of my wreck story.